Lisbon is surrounded by beaches, popular tourist destinations, and historical sites and cities. In today's video, I'll reveal my top 5 recommendations of places to visit nearby that you can easily reach from Lisbon city center and add to your itinerary. For those new to my channel, be sure to check out the Lisbon Travel Guides playlist. It will help you better prepare for your trip and choose where to stay and your activities wisely. Number 5. Cascais Located along the coast west of Lisbon, Cascais is easily reachable by train from Cais do Sodre Station or Uber. The city is known for its picturesque beaches, charming old town and vibrant nightlife, making it an ideal destination for beach lovers and anyone seeking a mix of relaxation or simply an escape from the city. There, you can explore attractions like the Old Town, Boca do Inferno, the Marina and Ginchu Beach. Number 4. Belém District Located west of Lisbon's city centre along the Tagus River, this historic district is renowned for its iconic landmarks, cultural heritage and culinary delights. The neighbourhood is home to several popular attractions, including the Geronimo's Monastery, the Belém Tower, Pastéis de Belém Bakery, the Monument of the Discoveries, and the Couch Museum. Travelers can easily reach Belém by tram, by hopping on the tourist bus or Uber from central Lisbon. To fully experience Belém's attractions, visitors should plan at least half a day exploring the district. The best time to visit is during weekdays to avoid crowds, preferably in the morning to enjoy the sights before it gets too busy. Number 3. Sintra Located just a short 20-minute drive west of Lisbon, Sintra is renowned for its romantic 19th-century architecture, palaces straight out of fairy tales, and lush gardens. Notable attractions include Penapalache, Quinta da Ragalera, the Moorish Castle, the National Palace of Sintra, and Montserrat Palace. There are multiple options to reach the town, including a train ride from Rossio Station, grabbing an Uber or taking a bus. If you're short on time and eager to see as much as possible, I recommend joining a guided tour for the convenience and insights offered. You'll have the opportunity to visit multiple places in a single day, including Quinta da Ragalera, the town of Sintra, Cascais, and the coastal area, allowing you to make the most of your visit. Number 2. Costa da Caprica Known for its long stretches of golden sandy beaches, excellent surfing conditions and vibrant beach culture, Costa da Caprica is a popular beach destination located on the western coast of Portugal, just south of Lisbon. Expect to find a lively beach atmosphere with plenty of amenities such as beach bars, restaurants, and water sport rentals. It's recommended to plan for at least half a day trip to fully enjoy the beach and its surroundings. The best time to visit is during the warmer months, when the weather is ideal for swimming and surfing, as well as late in the afternoon to watch the sunset. Number 1. Crystal Ray Proudly standing in Almada, just across the Tagus River from Lisbon, the Crystal Ray is a Catholic monument and sanctuary renowned for its imposing statue echoing the likeness of the one in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. You can easily reach the site by ferry from Cais do Sodre in Lisbon, followed by a short bus, taxi ride or even tuk-tuk tour, which adds a bit of adrenaline to your visit, as I experienced first end. Visitors should plan at least an hour to explore the sanctuary area, which is free, and enjoy the breathtaking panoramic views of Lisbon. For those wishing to go up and get a close-up view of the statue, a small entrance fee applies. As always, if you find this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my travel guides and adventures in Lisbon as well as other exciting destinations. Keep on traveling and I will see you guys in the next video.